In high school, freshman year, I made varsity. And so then I started to take it seriously. And whenever I realized I could, if I worked at it, I could be good. You know, we switched her from a 400 to a uh, 400 hurdler. And she was able to be one of the top 400 hurdlers in the country in one year. It was definitely, I mean, training with someone is necessary because being out here with David, kicking your butt is not fun to be alone. And Abby and Hannah were two of uh, friends of my daughter's and, uh, and they asked me for some help. Freshman and sophomore year, handing the baton off and like our names on the record boards, it's like the Moss sisters. Uh, those two girls have always been special to me. Uh, they have a love for track and field. They, they were dedicated to track and field. On March 18th, like last year, uh, Hannah had a sudden cardiac arrest. Uh, Hannah passed away a couple years ago, uh, and that was a big blow to me. And then uh, a year later, uh, Abby does a physical, they, they do a follow-up, and they say, okay, you, you have the same issues that your sister had, and, and then she's no longer able to run. Q wave is a little longer than the average, which makes me more prone to a heart arrhythmia. She just had the spirit about her where, okay, if it makes sense, I'd do it. I mean, I was super upset initially when I found out just because, like, I hadn't even got to run at UT, and, like, that's what I was there for basically, but like in the long term, it's kind of nice. I mean, it's a love-hate relationship always, and I do miss it a lot, but also now I'm able to like, I have more time to focus on like school, and I want to be a nurse, so that's, they're both extreme time commitments. <laughs> Her motto was basically, when it hurts most, laugh. And so, after everything happened, my birthday was actually, unfortunately the week after and I turned 18 so me and my mom on my birthday got matching tattoos it's like one door closes another opens 